Good morning. How are you? Hey, hi, Rob. Nice to meet you. Good to have you Thanks with us. Thanks for having me here. Oh, it's wonderful to have you. You have uh, compiled a book called Trailblazer Founders, in which you have done an immense amount of research uh, talking with successful people and the motivations uh, that they use to help them get to uh, where they are today. What inspired the book? So, I mean, this book is actually about celebrating the awe inspiring stories of individuals who challenge the status quo that defines our sense of what is possible and in the present and in the future. And I actually wanted to write specifically about uh, role models as startups founders who have done exceptionally well, where most people believe that that uh, opportunity is actually limited by uh, gender or ethnicity, but I wanted to defy that logic. And it is actually a matter of understanding the entrepreneurial ecosystem and how to navigate within it. And, and while different personalities will naturally have different perspectives, talents, and strengths as such in different leadership styles, uh, there are nonetheless certain core attributes of successful leaders which can be acquired and deepened. And this book hopes to bring that to, to, to common knowledge. What did you find out that stood out to you as being outstanding? Uh, you know, I have actually done close to about 100 interviews with founders, leaders from accelerators, entrepreneurs, and, and also uh, venture capitalists. And one of the common things that actually stood out in writing this book was that most people who have been very successful have developed their own path to power strategically and never stood in the way in their own way. And uh, by providing some kind of research and social science back strategies on actually what makes one successful is the audacity to think big and dream big and achieve something big is more important than actually having the right idea. And also that, you know, uh, it derives a lot of this, a uh, lot of the, uh, the, the inputs from neuroscience behind how others perceive you on the basis of your, of your audacity but also draw their beliefs on their success on the basis of your personal brand, networks, connections, executive presence, and your ability to lead others in getting things done. I happen to have as a co-host this morning an author as well, New York Times bestselling author John Gilstrap. John? Uh, good morning. So who do you see as your uh, primary audience? Who's your customer for the, for the book? Uh, I believe this book is very relevant to, to aspiring or budding entrepreneurs who feel stuck and you want to increase your chances of building the next unicorn, no matter your gender, race, or cultural background. But I also believe that if you, you will love this book if you want to change the narrative about power you have within you as a leader, executive, or an entrepreneur, and you want to get in touch with the leverage that you have within you. Uh, also, I believe it could be very interesting for people who want to read more about trailblazer founders around the world and how entrepreneurship is actually shaping the lives of 6 billion people who live outside of the global West. Because you know that the next 50 years of innovation entrepreneurship will not look anything like the last 50 years. That's very true. In what way? Well, you say that it's not going to look anything like the next 50 years. Are you talking about in terms of technology? Uh, technology, yes, of course, that has going to change, but also believe, you know, the people who are leading any of these uh, companies, startups, also just leaders are going to look very different. Uh, my case in writing this book is actually a lot for, for diversity, and my hope is, is, like I said, to be able to change the narrative and image we commonly hold of successful founders or leaders. Uh, the founders we looked up uh, to in the past, they will look different from the founders of the future. There would be no color, location, educational background to building great companies. I believe that you know the stories that I'm actually talking about in this book are sort of role models that I wish to talk about. Uh, they're stories of Topi Avatona, founder of Calendly, one of the few black billionaires with a net worth of $1.2 billion. Tristan Walker, the founder of CEO, uh, and CEO of Walker and Company Brands, the first black CEO under the Procter & Gamble uh, umbrella in its 180-year history. I have Shraddha Sharma, a woman founder and CEO of Your Story, a media platform on, from you know, a platform for entrepreneurs, uh, who has a fascinating path to power from uh, an old media leader to multi-million dollar business in India. Lisa Shu, uh, an Asian woman who is the founder of Newton Venture Program, 
who's building a program uh, together with London Business School to to a program aimed at uh, powering the venture capitalists of tomorrow. So what I really mean is that the power shift is going to happen, that that power dynamic is going to change. And that is slowly happening all, already, but it's also about acquiring the right leadership skills and people who will be leading the future of tomorrow and the innovations of tomorrow. John, well, it sounds like a, a fascinating concept. I, um, I actually, I, I run an insurance agency and I have a lot of entrepreneurs that I work with. What, um, what is another big thing that you see among every successful entrepreneur? What's another mindset or something that you've gleaned from all your interviews? So there are, there are two things that I would say. The very first thing is, of course, the, the audacity that I actually talked about right in the beginning, that, uh, you know, people who I interviewed, there was one common quote that most of them actually had some version of it. They said, I never felt that I was any different from the rest. I never saw any roadblocks. I did not bother about any biases because of my, my cultural identity. I was just bold enough to do and go after what I wanted. So this is the first part which is the audacity. And the second part is that I made my, my made, you know, my unique selling proposition or, you know, whatever I had to, to, to achieve, I made it visible and connected with the right people at the right time, which is basically investing in a personal brand or a powerful brand that people can associate with. And that's why I believe in me or connecting to the right people in the ecosystem, networking with the right people in the ecosystem who could get me to that success that I actually wanted. And I think most people do not give enough importance to to the brand and the networks that they're actually working with. Deepti, thanks so much for your time this morning. Trailblazer Founders is the book. Where can we find it? You can find it on Amazon store uh, globally, but also you can find it on any of the books retailers like Martha Noble's. And keep yourself updated with any of the, the, the content as well as the newsletters that I'm running is deeptipahava.com, uh, D-E-E-P-T-I-P-A-H-W-A, as well as you can connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm very active on LinkedIn with a newsletter that I'm running also around the topics of this book. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Have a great day. Thank you so much, Rob. Thanks for having me.